Hello, greetings. Many people ask me, is dairy good? Is dairy healthy? Should I go dairy free? Well, of course, it's a fad these days to avoid all dairy. And of course, when we see the dairy industry and the way that they treat our uh, animals, uh, poultry and the livestock, uh, there's a, a lot of uh, sympathy for going dairy free for moral reasons. <clears throat> but we can't generalize. Uh, when we're talking about dairy, um, first we have to accept that processed homogenized milk that we find in the store, which probably has been uh, uh, from grain fred fed cattle with growth hormones, and this uh, grains have probably uh, been uh, uh, grown genetically modified. So I would say that type of dairy is uh, poisonous uh, for our health. And I would think most of the research um, that has been developed over the years is probably based on this type of um, you know, common uh, grocery store dairy, which I'm referring to, which is processed and homogenized, and not organic and not range free or grass fed. So we must differentiate first of all between uh, poor quality uh, dairy and um, healthy uh, dairy. Just like with wheat, we cannot say all grains are bad. Uh, we know white bread and processed bleached bread with no nutrients, no husk and no germ is unhealthy, constipating, and increases our blood sugar. Well, whole wheat grains can be very nutritious, particularly if they're organic, sprouted, um, and uh, uh, taken um, uh, with other foods. So um, we should always avoid these generalizations of all dairy is bad, all grains are bad. So what we're talking about here is raw milk, of course, not and raw dairy, raw cheese, and uh, raw butter that's... Uh, grass-fed um, and without uh, grains and thus without uh, hormones and um, without GMO uh, grains we have very natural and healthy and nutritious food here. Here we can see here in California we're able to buy uh, raw cow milk off the street or in the store or health food store and we can get uh, anybody can now get grass-fed uh, ghee and butter from farms that have completely grass-fed animals. So I'm talking about this quality of dairy, not the low-quality dairy in your uh, general store. Um, and second, there's many types of dairy. Milk is much higher, harder to digest than, say, yogurt. And cold milk is very hard to digest, and this gives a lot of people problems. So many people who say, oh, I can't have dairy, I can't have dairy, you say, well, yeah, can you have a little yogurt with your rice? And they go, oh, that's no problem. Well, you're having dairy at that point. Can you have butter? Oh, yeah, butter's no problem. So a lot of times people just can't digest the milk. And, of course, not everybody has availability of raw milk. I get uh, uh, raw goat milk uh, from a local goat farmer in the area. And when he brings it to me, it's still warm in the bottle. And uh, often people come to me and believe that they have uh, uh, dairy sensitivity and cannot uh, have any dairy whatsoever and uh, I give them a little warm goat milk and they drink it and have absolutely no reaction so this proves it's uh, more of a quality issue and a digestive issue than it is all dairy is bad and kefir of course is also fermented and easier to digest um, and butter uh, is, as I mentioned, easier to digest than milk. And ghee is even easier because the animal protein has been removed. So in Ayurveda, mostly they're using ghee. And in many health conditions, um, ghee uh, and butter uh, should be increased to help the condition, particularly acidic conditions, pitta conditions, when the person is very vata and they're underweight with dry skin, dry stools, um, then butter, ghee, um, and some yogurt can be very helpful. And also for the vata 
uh, they do better with goat milk than cow milk. Goat milk is also easier to digest and it's warming to the body. So Vata type of people do who are cold, dry, light, and underweight do very good with warm goat milk. Um, pitta type of people who have a strong digestion and even have a tendency for acidity and heartburn often uh, love cow milk, even cold. Um, so uh, that would be the best match. So not everybody is in the same category. Now, of course, if you're a kapha and you're heavy and congested and overweight, or you have fatty liver or a lot of respiratory congestion, you'd want to avoid most dairy. But again, butter isn't going to congest you. But if you have fatty liver or high cholesterol, then you would want to restrict your butter and use a, a better source of oil, such as a sunflower oil. That would be the same if you had gallbladder congestion um, as well. You would want to avoid butter, coconut oil, fried foods, and use <coughs> uh, finer and lighter oil, such, such as sunflower oil. So, um, once again, um, it's not uh, appropriate to, to think all dairy is bad. It's better to understand your own type uh, and your own state of digestion and your own health needs and to go from there and not just to generalize. Many people have come to me and they've stopped dairy to avoid some inflammation or some condition and I say, well, do you still have the inflammation and condition? I say, yes. So I said, why have you continued to stop dairy if it didn't make any difference? And I hear almost every day that people are told, stop all wheat, stop all dairy. Well, they still have the same health problem. So it's not a treatment to just eliminate the dairy. It's not inflammatory like people say if it's actually raw dairy without the, that was grass-fed without the exposure to the pesticides and the GMO grains. So, uh, and that type of dairy can be quite harmful and irritating to the intestinal lining and eventually create a type of allergy. Of course, some um, cultures don't traditionally have much dairy, such as the uh, Asians and Africans, and so they tend to have more of uh, intolerance for uh, many types of dairy, uh, particularly uh, milk. Um, so even then, you shouldn't just eliminate these foods because you happen to be African-American descent. You should listen to your own body and see what the reaction is. Your body will tell you if it's compatible with you or not by um, either feeling good and, uh, and or giving you a type of negative reaction such as gas or bloating. Um, so, but again, your digestion has to be good to have particularly milk um, and you shouldn't snack on dairy. You shouldn't have cheeses all day, cheese snacks, cheese pieces of cheese and you don't want to have excess cheese. It's very heavy. And uh, another point I want to make is I don't think it's fair to restrict children to not have some amount of dairy. They're growing. They need more protein. And many children are very attracted to having a lot of cheese and dairy in their diet. Of course, uh, once you're already full grown and particularly if you've had any type of growth or cysts or fibroid or tumor in your body or uh, excess weight, then you want to really restrict this protein and dairy. But for a child who's growing, who doesn't have any respiratory problems or congestive issues or a tumor or anything that would warrant reducing the protein, they'll do much better by having their cheese sandwiches and having some organic or raw milk uh, with their meals. And it's very nutritious, much more nutritious than water. If you're a child and you're very active, you're going to feel more uh, strong and robust and, by, uh, and full by having milk. Um, so uh, milk, in fact, builds bones, builds teeth, and we can see people who have avoided all dairy often have uh, their fingernails are very soft, they get pitting in the teeth, and the hair falls out. And So anybody with a degenerative bone condition uh, in particular, I encourage them to go back on to dairy and strengthen their digestion. Like I said, if they're vata, it doesn't mean we're doing milk, but it just means yogurts and soft cheeses. And pitta types, they do better with cow milk, and uh, but avoiding uh, fermented dairy like uh, aged cheese or hard cheese or too much yogurt. Kefir tends to be a nice choice for the pitta type with a lot of uh, strong appetite and a tendency for acidity. 
So and once again, the kapha type is generally not recommended to have uh, any dairy. And the kapha type, of course, is that person who's heavy, overweight, congested, respiratory system tends to be con uh, blocked, and uh, they have a slower metabolism. So dairy is not suitable for that person, but small amounts may not hurt them, particularly a little butter here and there, a little Parmesan cheese on top of their salad isn't going to harm even a, a kapha person. So no reason to be afraid of it, no reason to just eliminate it for every health condition that you may have. Most important is to find the highest quality you can and consume it in small amounts that are suitable to your own digestion and your own uh, body type, whether that's vata, pitta, or kapha. Okay, I hope I've helped you to understand some of the benefits of having dairy uh, in your diet and not be afraid of it. Oh, love it personally, myself. Thank you.